You know, I, I think it's very important and and to to also know when you're oversaturating the market, to also yeah. know what your growth needs to be. Now, as the example of Bath and Body Works, they were they were the biggest that could have ever been. Uh, right after they had their big success, though, everybody else got into the personal care business. So then you start seeing all these different stores and shops that that, that were really kind of chewing up that market. Right. And um, I think that if you don't continue to reinvent yourself and if you don't continue to, you know, um, uh, evolve, then you have an opportunity of becoming extinct. Now, Bath and Body Works is probably you know, a quarter of the size that it was in its heyday, they closed a lot of stores, they laid off a lot of people, they reevaluated, they changed the, the way they looked, the way they marketed, I mean, all of those things. So Keeping it happy. <laughs> keeping people happy and, you know, and keeping them happy in a way that still feels, you know, here, here's what it is. You have to still act like you're the small company that you first started. Oh my God! There we go. That's a great point. That is a great point. People forget. You still have to. You still have to pick up the phone and thank people, like you said. You still have to be grateful for what you have. You have to show your customers that they still care. That's why I think some companies that really get this. I mean, I think Amazon, whether people love them or hate them. They're doing a fantastic job because they're still connecting with their customers on a level of, you know, that personal getting people on the phone and chatting them up and, you know, maybe having a laugh or two or maybe, you know, complaining about something together and having that, that moment. And that is really going back to what Marv said, keeping customers happy.